Patrick Kanuski. I'm the director of operations at the Ark Encounter. This Ark that you see here is a direct representation of the biblical account of Noah and the flood. So what we've done here is we've taken the true dimensions of the Bible in Genesis and we've replicated a full-size Ark. But in 2004 even, the first thoughts about doing an, an Ark replica was thought about and it just kept moving up on the to-do list. And then eventually uh, broke ground in the summer of 2014 and then we opened the Ark Encounter in July of 2016. Since that time, we've had hundreds of thousands of people come through here. It's got rave reviews. People are very excited about this. And the first deck is really an introduction to the Ark. It's our shortest deck, is just to get people oriented to the Ark itself, how big the wood is, things of that nature, and some animal cages and some information about some of the animals. The second deck is really where the story starts. And the first exhibit that everyone sees is an exhibit called the Pre-Flood World, Pre-Flood Society, which really sets up for the, the guest uh, why was the Ark built in the first place. It starts with creation in this particular exhibit, and it goes through sin and the fall of man, and then how uh, society really degraded from there, and uh, how it was so bad that God said, hey, uh, have a do-over, basically. And then Noah and his family are seen in working scenes on deck two as well, feeding the animals, and also Noah in his study. There's a library that's set up in there. There's a, a, a wood shop, a blacksmith shop, and then you know just different exhibits like that. And one of our main features on deck two is the door. And you may see the ramp that's uh, behind me here. That ramp goes to the door on deck two, and there's a, a gospel presentation there. We also, every day on deck two, have uh, live animals that we bring in from our zoo, uh, bring those up on the elevator and uh, get them right into deck two so people can actually see live animals on the ark. We have uh, kangaroos, and uh, right now a couple of the female kangaroos have joeys in their pouch, which is pretty neat. We have camels and donkeys, and the camels and donkeys, we actually have rides on those that, uh, that people can take. We also have uh, uh, some uh, farm animals like goats and, and smaller animals in a petting area. And those animals, uh, various different combinations of those animals come onto the ark uh, every day. So that's uh, really deck two. And then once the folks go up to deck three, again, that's another large, uh, it's a tall deck, deck two being the tallest, but deck three is a large deck as well. And there's a lot of excellent museum quality exhibits on deck three. The first thing that the guests will see is uh, Noah's living quarters. So we've set up a living quarters for Noah and his wife and then Noah's sons and their wives. So the eight people, their living quarters, there's a garden, there's a kitchen, a dining area, an aviary, uh, things of that nature in, in a living area. Um, I also want to mention there's two, two movie areas, two film areas where uh, on deck two in the stern, there's a Noah's interview back in Noah's time. There's a, uh, an atheist lady from a newspaper, a local newspaper there in Noah's time, and she interviews Noah. And then that, the sequel to that movie is on deck three, where the same actors are actually in modern day, and they're, uh, they're interviewing a guy named Noah who works here at the Ark Encounter. So that's, uh, it's really a powerful presentation on deck two and deck three in our theaters. And then continuing around on deck three, again, the museum quality uh, exhibits on deck three are just amazing. There's a, an exhibit about uh, the flood geology, what the earth would have looked like before and after the flood, how dramatically the earth was changed by the flood. There's an exhibit on uh, the ice age. There's a, an exhibit on Ancient Man, uh, the Tower of Babel, and then finally we get to an exhibit that uh, discusses and presents the, the rainbow. It's called the Rainbow Covenant, which is really the uh, promise that, that God made that the earth would not be destroyed again by, a, by water, by a flood, and it, it talks about the rainbow. And then another thing that we're very proud of is that uh, Mr. Green and the uh, Hobby Lobby group has displayed a lot of their Bible artifacts in a in an area that's called Museum of the Bible. Museum of the Bible is, is being constructed right now, 
in Washington, D.C., and that museum has uh, let us borrow some of their artifacts, and I, the artifacts are going to stay here uh, in 11 different uh, display areas on Deck 3. It's really an awesome, awesome display of, uh, of the Bible. And then finally, the last exhibit that folks will see on Deck 3 is an exhibit we call Why the Bible is True. And it's actually a walk through a, uh, a storybook of three college students and their travails. Uh, they're in a, a class about uh, the Bible uh, and world religions. And just what exactly does their professor uh, espouse in this class? And they kind of wrestle with what the professor's saying. And there's a whole story about these three college students as you wind through this, uh, this storybook. And it's a very good Bible gospel presentation at the end. So that's really good. And again, we have uh, the zoo that's out back. Uh, we have a, a restaurant here also, a 1,500 seat, which is quite good. And if you read everything, if the guests would read all, all the, all the uh, exhibits and if they would have something to eat and if they would go to the zoo, it probably takes a good uh, three, four, five hours to go through the whole park encounter as it is right now. The best way to, to get in touch with us is uh, we have uh, a lot of websites. The Answers in Genesis website will also take you to the Creation Museum website and the Ark Encounter website. And uh, you can get your tickets online if you want on those websites. Uh, the website also has our, our phone numbers that are available here in Kentucky. Uh, you can call folks to make reservations if you want to actually talk to a person instead of doing it online. Again, uh, we appreciate you all uh, watching this about the Ark Encounter. And uh, we'd like to see you here. Uh, again, you'd be one of hundreds of thousands of people that have come. And uh, just, uh, I think you'll be amazed when you get here.